एस एन ए थ्री ठीक है सो वॉट इज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एनी बडी इज हैविंग एनी आइडिया अबाउट इट प्लीज आस प्लीज टेल सॉरी दृष्टि एनी आइडिया बेटा वॉट इज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री yeah so trigonometry is basically the study of ratios between the sides of a right angle triangle very good and not for any other triangle yes nahi nahi trigonometry mein uh, any other triangle mein bhi hota hai theek hai but we will limit ourselves to, it is about it is about it is discussing about the uh, sides and angles of a triangle right it is about the relations between the sides and angles of the triangle because in properties of triangle we discuss about we see all the triangles theek hai so it is a sub it is in trigonometry we learn about the relations between what i'll say is na don't Uh, make notes as of now i'll give you time to uh, note down the entire slide so uh, just wait listen to it try to understand it once you are very much sure that yes you have understood there are no doubts then you can go ahead by uh, for uh, making notes okay i'll give you time to write it don't worry about the relations between the sides and the angles of a triangle theek hai but yes before i move ahead before i move ahead we will learn about some greek alphabets which are which we will use as symbols to denote the angles of triangle why greek alphabets because greek alphabets they are different from english alphabets so uh, we can they can be used as a symbol okay so sriyanshi you are with standard here yes sir You are in which standard? So class ten. Okay. So alpha, beta. Third one is gamma. Fourth is delta. Fifth is theta. So these are some English, sorry, Greek alphabets. Okay. so alpha how is alpha represented alpha is represented like this beta like this gamma is represented like this delta like this and theta is represented like this theek hai so these are the greek alphabets and we will be using them as symbols only aur kuch nahi beta theek hai kuch aur nahi samajhna hai isko jo hai wohi samajhna hai theek hai now now the triangle in which we are interested towards the beginning of this entire subject is a right angle triangle right so we will be dealing only with right angle triangle today theek hai drishti so we will start with right angle then we will gradually abhi to nahi but ma the maths teacher will graduate you to other triangles also theek hai in trigonometry but before we move ahead let's define the functions trigonometrical functions which we will learn so what are trigonometric functions functions kya hote hai anybody having any idea about functions prakrut any idea about what are functions not exactly no not exactly drishti any idea beta oh that मतलब a thing which is uh, which we think that this is the function of this we are expecting a certain definite output from a set of objects or you can say a program or a mathematical equation isn't it so that is how we can say this is a function so function suppose karo mai bolta hu ki what is the function of a remote tv remote so it its function is to operate the tv right it operates on the tv 
So it, it increases the volume, changes the channel, isn't it? So we have, we have, similarly, we have some trigonometrical functions also. And what are those trigonometrical functions? They are sine, initially written as SIN. Cos tan. Yes, very good. So second one is co, co, uh, cosine. These are the full names of it. In short, we are we write it as cos. Then comes tangent. Tan. In short, it is written as tan. Then comes cosec. Cosecant. 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 This is cosec. Very good. Cosec is also given as cos, cosec is also given as one over one by sin. Sine. Sine. Sine bolna hai, beta. Ha? Sin bolo ke toh paapi ho jayega hi. Thik hai. Ha. Secant is written as sec. sec. This is one by cos. Okay. Cot, then cot. Very good. You know how you learn it? You just know it. Okay, good. Yeah, na? This is good. Aware, uh, you should be aware. Very good. Sahi hai. So, these are the six trigonometric functions which we will be dealing with in today's session. Right. So let's define what is sine, what is cos, what is tan and all. So we will draw a right angle triangle here. But I mean, trigonometry is all about rise and runs. This is what is said. Okay, there is a saying, trigonometry is all about rise and run. So what is rise? This is the rise. Right. And what is run? This is the run. Okay. So if you want to find the height of a building, suppose I replace this thing by a building, a tower. Right. And say I am at a distance of some some distance of say 100 meters from here. And I have some instrument by which I can measure this angle. I can easily find the height of the tower without climbing on it. You cannot height, you cannot find the height of a say 50 meter height tower by uh, uh, taking a measuring tape and climbing over the top of it, isn't it? So that is how we, we use the uh, trigonometry. So it's all about rise and runs. This is this is the base of the triangle. Okay, but before that, we need to identify one angle of it. Let's say this angle is theta. All of you, please pay attention. This angle is theta. If this angle is theta, then the side opposite to this theta, this is the side, right? The side opposite to theta it's is opposite. called as perpendicular. It's called as perpendicular. So P stands for perpendicular. This is it, right? And this B stands for base. The other side, the other, the other side perpendicular to perpendicular is base. And this side, the longest side is the hypotenuse of triangle H. You are aware about what is hypotenuse, right? So this is what we have. Now, if I ask you what is sine theta? So sine of what? Sine of the angle. Sine theta is given as perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Cos theta is given as base upon hypotenuse. Tan theta is given as? Perpendicular on base. Sin theta upon cos theta. We'll write it like this. And then it is P upon H upon B upon H. So this is perpendicular upon base. Then comes cosec theta. This is 1 upon sin theta. And this is H upon P. Similarly, sec theta is, sec theta is 1 over cos theta. And this is H upon B. And the last is cot theta. Cot theta is 1 upon tan theta. And this is B upon P. Understood all of you? Yes or no? So we have Ojas, Jan and Summer. Please switch on your camera kids, both of you. Ojas and Summer. I will now disable the waiting room. Oh, just summer, please switch on your camera. Okay, so please make a note of it. All of you understood what is sine theta, cos theta? Simple, hai. is it difficult, Sriyanshi? You are the youngest one here, so I'm asking. You are in seventh grade, right? So, tenth grade. Tenth grade, oh, okay. Then you will understand it, right? Yes, sir. Good. Vaikuntam, you understood? Yes, sir. Good. Rakrut, Drishti? Yes, sir. Shabat. चलो लिख लो इसको जल्दी से फटाफट 
टू मिनट्स Once you are done, just type done in the comment window, huh? Okay. Done. Shriyanshi, ho gaya bita? Shriyanshi, Ojas, by good term? Yes, done bita? Noted? Chalo, shabash. So now, now, let's move ahead to understanding the quadrants of the circuit. Theek hai? The quadrants in which we will be operating. So you must have heard about it also. But abhi ke liye, let's focus on this. So, this is the first quadrant. All of you have seen the D, right? Which you used to measure the angle. Yes or no? We, we used to call it as protractor. And now, you also call it, what do you call it? Protractor. Protractor only? Yes, sir. Okay. So, this is 0 degrees. This is 90 and degrees. One, this is 180. Yeah. And the lower half is completed. This is 270 and then 360. You are... Till now, you must you are confined to 0 to 180 degrees, right? We will be discussing the lower quadrants as well. Today. So the first quadrant is between 0 and 90. Second quadrant is between 90 and 180. Third quadrant is between 90 and 270. And fourth quadrant is in between 270 and 360. Yeah, like All of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. Great. So now, now we will name these angles, right? These angles are called as reference angles. Why reference? Because the reference of reference of the quadrants are taken from here. So this is reference angle. Okay. This is also a reference angle. Okay. This is a reference angle. And we have this fourth reference angle, right? Now, between every two reference angles, there is a quadrant. Consecutive reference angles, there is a quadrant, right? Now comes the next level of angles, which are next set of angles, which are called as standard angles. Kya bolte hai, Vita, isko? Standard. standard angles. Standard. Okay. So, this is 30 degrees, this is 45 degrees, and this is 60 degrees. Theek hai? This is 30, 30, this is 30, this is 45, and this is 60 degrees. These angles are, these set of angles are called as standard angles. What do we say? These are standard angles. Why standard angles? Because most of the time we will focus our uh, learning, we will confine our learning in trigonometry to these angles only. Now, there are standard angles. Now, the question arises, are there standard angles in every quadrant? Of course, yes. So, these are standard angles of first quadrant. So, the question arises, how to find standard angles of other quadrants? So, I am writing a rule for you. We need to follow it and all of you have to show me that, right? 
So the rule is to find the standard angles of the second, third, and fourth quadrant. Add or subtract the standard angles of the first quadrant from the reference angles of the respective quadrants. So if I want to find standard angles of second quadrant, I have to add or subtract the standard angles of first quadrant to reference angles of second quadrant. So I'll show this to you. So for second quadrant, I'm doing it for second quadrant, you do it for other quadrants, right? So the reference angles of second quadrant are, Prakrut, which are the reference angles for second quadrant? Sir, 90, 180. 90 and 180, right? All of you agree to this? 90 and 180 reference angles of second quadrant? Great. So 90, add the standard angles of first quadrant to 90. 90 plus 45 and the last one is 90 plus 60. Now this is what? This is 120. This is 135. And this is 150. Similarly, if I subtract, if I subtract the standard angles of first quadrant from the second reference angle, I get the standard angles of second quadrant. Is it easy for all of you? Yes, sir. Understood. Now, can you please do it, uh, find the rest of the standard angles of third and fourth quadrants? Please do it quickly and note this also. I am giving you time. You can take your time and note it. Once you are done, please post your answers in the comment window. Hmm? Post your answers in the comment window. Try not to commit a mistake because it's a simple thing. <clears throat> Meanwhile, what you can do is all of you, please uh, give me your name in the chat window only name, parents' name, and their contact number. This is just for our own database and feedback uh, mechanism. Okay. Please type in the database. Uh, sorry, please type in the chat window your name, parents name and contact number. Parents contact number. Good. Very good. Dristi. Shabash Bita. Hi, Samar, you are in which standard? Very good, Samar. Shriyanshi, 270 nahi aega, bita. 270 nahi aega. Check karo. 270 to reference angle hua, na? Very good, Dristi. Shabash. For fourth quarter. Great. बेटा एक मैसेज में देना है एक मैसेज में नहीं तो वो फिर घूमना पड़ता है वेरी गुड श्रीयांशी वेरी गुड गुड ओजस शाबाश वेरी गुड सो मोस्ट ऑफ यू ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट इट करेक्ट but I have not received anything from Vaikuntam. What are Vaikuntam? Please send beta. You, you understood or not? Vaikuntam? Yes, sir. I am typing, sir. Ah, type. Karo. Ah, thik hai, thik hai. Do it. Chale.
for third quadrant. I'm just for your confirmation, I'm writing this 180 plus 30, 180 plus 60, 180 plus 45. Right? This is 210. This is 240. This is 225. This can also be given as 270 minus 60, 270 minus 30, and this is 270 minus 45. Right? For fourth quarter. 270 plus 30, 270 plus 45, 270 plus 60. Okay? This is 300, 315 degrees, 360 degrees. See, the class may extend till 9, 10, 9, 15. Huh? So please, aap log isko, uh, you can extra extend hoga 10, minutes. So please bear with it. Huh? So this is 360 minus 60. This is 360 minus 45. This is not, this is not 360. 270 plus 60 is 330. 360 minus 30, right? So we have, so we have this and these are the standard angles of second, third and fourth quadrants. I hope all of you got it correct. I saw that. I have checked with the answer. So all of you, Clear, absolutely clear with these terms, standard angles and reference angles. All of you. Great. Now, now, let's move ahead to learn the trigonometric table. Now, before that, before that, there is one more information which we should be aware of before uh, about the trigonometric values of each angle, each quadrant. This is very important. Huh? Please pay attention. So, I'm just mentioning it here. All sine, tan, and cos. Okay, now what does this mean? Chali, aate so, trigonometric values of first all the angles we are talking about sine cos and tan we'll restrict ourselves to sine cos and tan the rest of them are inverse of it so we we not have to be bothered by that right so hum log, we will fix ourselves to sine cos and tan only okay we will focus on this so all the angles trigonometric values of all the angles are positive in the first quadrant. Trigonometric values of all the angles are positive in the first quadrant. So what does this mean? So sine of all the angles, cos of sine, cos and tan of all the angles are positive in the first quadrant. So sine of all the angles between 0 degrees, sine of all the angles between 0 degrees and 90 degrees Cos of all the angles between 0 and 90 degrees and tan of all the angles between 0 and 90 degrees is positive. Clear? All of you? Hana bowling give it as a blue. Yes or no? Summer, Dristi, yes. understood? Yes, by Kunta. You want to ask? No, sir. Okay. Anybody is having any doubt in this? Anybody who wants to ask anything in this? Oh, just... You are in which standard, Ojas? You are a little late, bita. Sine and cos are trigonometric values. Okay, trigonometric functions. So, I will send you the recording, don't worry. Okay. Second is, second is, trigonometric values of Sine of all the angles, sine of all the angles are positive in the second quadrant. That means, what does this mean? If we are focusing ourselves only to sine and we are saying that sine of all the angles are positive in the second quadrant, that means 
cos and tan will be negative. Understood? Understood? We are mentioning only those functions which are positive. If we are not mentioning, if the function is not here, then we can easily assume that they are negative in these respective quadrants. Yes or no? All of you. Samar, Drishti, Sriyanshi, Prakrut, understood? Vaikuntam. Done? So then comes, then comes the third quadrant. Tan of all the angles are positive in the third quadrant. Right? Isko mein bracket mein likh deta hun. Sine and cos are negative. Okay? Sine and cos are negative in the third quadrant. Then comes the fourth one. Cause of all the angles is are positive in the fourth quadrant. Ye R nimana is is in the fourth quadrant. I hope all of you understood this. Yes or no? So I have, I have a few questions for you. Just answer, just type your responses in the comment window. Huh? If I ask you, if I ask you, uske pehle answer ke pehle mujhe jao. sign 120 degree, will it be positive or negative? All of you, you can answer it. You can switch on your mic and speak. Is it positive or negative? Yes, positive. sir. That's positive. positive. Very good. It is greater it's than positive. zero, so positive, right? What about cause of 150 degrees? Positive or negative? Negative. 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 Very negative. good. What about tan of 225 degrees? Positive or negative? Positive. 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 Very good. Because 225 lies in the fourth quadrant, right? Then comes, then comes uh, sine of 333 degrees. Negative. Or negative? negative. Very good. Negative. negative. So, what do you think about this? Clear enough, it is up to. No, sir. So, can you explain the last point once again? Cause, how is the cause of all angles positive in the fourth quadrant? See, whatever angles are there in the last quadrant, 270 to 360, right? Between mm -hmm. 270 to 360, all their values will be positive. That's it. For example, okay. cause of, say, if I write cause of 315 degrees, this is greater than zero. So, if cos of 315 degrees is positive there, positive. so then um, the opposite of cos, which is 1 to 3, that's... 1 of cos is also... Yeah, sec one will be... Positive. Negative. No, no, sec positive will be positive. It's 1 by cos only. Okay, okay, right. It will be negative. If this is a positive value, then this entire thing is positive. Hmm. Can I? Okay. Okay. All of you, समझ आया बेटा सबको नहीं आया? Yes sir. पर नवी, पर नवी आप थोड़ा देर से आयो बेटा आपको कुछ नहीं समझ आएगा है ना? But ठीक है, you can be here. मैं मना नहीं करूँगा, but all of you please make a note of it quickly. And one more thing which I want to communicate here is, I want to uh, tell you about is the value of sine. Always remember the value of sine of any angle lies in between minus 1 to 1 only. And the value of cos also lies in between plus 1 to minus 1. That's it. And obviously tan will lie in between infinity plus infinity to minus infinity. Because we are, we are dealing with the ratios of triangles. So this is what a data is. pure match, I have to focus on something else. But just for information only, remember it. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is F Y I. Okay? Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
noted all of you once you are done type done in the comment window beta huh? all of you Ojas, are you there? Ojas? Okay. You asked sin cos, tha na, Ojas. So, I will tell you what sin ka matlab kya hota hai. Dekho, ye angle agar theta hai, to iske opposite wala side na beta perpendicular hota hai. And ye base hota hai. Theek hai? Aur ye hypotenuse. So, sin theta jo hota hai, this is a trigonometric function. This is given as P upon H. और cos theta जो होता है ये होता है base upon hypotenuse ठीक है और tan theta होता है it's sin upon cos so it is p upon b बस इतना याद रखना भी ठीक है फिर recording दे जूँगा तो याद रख फिर वो तुम्हें मिल जाएगा हम्म समझ आ जाएगा done all of you noted yes or no noted or not Okay, done. Yes, Thank sir. Thank you. Great. So this brings us to learn about trigonometric table. Trigonometric table. You can draw this table with me because it will take some time to draw. So you can draw it with me. Okay. One zero thirty forty five one is ninety sixty ninety one eighty two seventy and sixty. So we have zero. 30, 45, 60, 90, 180, 270, 360. Great. Similarly, this is for the first one row. This is one, two, and three. Bottom. Okay. This is for functions. This column is for functions. This is 0 degree. This is 30, 45, 60. This table is what you need to memorize. Okay. You have to memorize the table. I'll tell you which rows to memorize and rest you can easily uh, derive from the, the, those two rows. Okay. 90, 180. 270 and 360. Okay. Now, now, sine, the functions are sine. What is sine 0? Sine 0 is 0. This is 1 by 2. This is 1 by root 2. Root 3 by 2. 3 by 2. 1. 1. 0. 0. 0. Minus 1 and 0. What about cos? Cos is? 1. One. One. This is root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2. This is 1 over root 2. Root 3 by 2. This is 1 by 3. Root 3 by 2. This is 1 over root 2. This is 0. Very good. Cos 180 minus 1. Cos 270 is 0. This is 1 again. Right? So, what you need to remember is by heart only the first two rows. Of course, this will be remembered. The rest is what will follow. Okay? So, how to so find that? Cos of... 1 is the reciprocal of the sign. No, no, son. Cos sign is reciprocal. So, what is the ulta? What is the ulta? Look, this is root 3 by 2, 1 by 2. So, I mean, like, as I said, 90 degree to 1 ah, plus 90 ah. degree to rest. I mean, ulta is the ulta. Absolutely. How do you remember this? Look, all of you. All of you. How to remember it? Easy, easy peasy method. Hai. Dekho idhar se sab lo, all of you. Just remember it like this. If this angle is 30, draw a right angle triangle. This is 90. And this is 60, right? So 
for this is one two and root three aise yaad rakhiye one two and root three obviously you can find root three so remember one and two now if you can you know what is perpendicular and base right you know what is perpendicular and base so for perpendicular perpendicular for 30 is 1 Perpen uh, perpendicular of 60 is root 3 so that is how you can easily write sin cos so what is tan of 0 degrees it's 0 this is 1 over root 3 this is 1 this is root 3 this is not defined technically not defined yes this is 0 this is not defined not defined this is 0 0 okay then comes cosec non defined and cot so cosec of 0 is not defined not two, 2 root 2 2, two by, by three. 1 nd minus 1 and nd this is one, 1 2, two by one. Root three. very good root no. 2 root two. 2 not defined Minus one. So sec sixty is two, I think so. Sec is two. Ah, sec sixty is two. This is two. <clears throat> Cot is one upon tan. Cot is one upon tan. So this is not defined. This is root three. three. One. one. One over root three. Yeah. This is zero. This not is defined. not defined. Zero, zero and not, not defined, defined. again. Okay. Okay. And to understand, uh, to remember the 45 degree wala part, just make another triangle. The, the sides and the perpendicular and base are same. 1, 1 and root 2. Take any angle as this angle as 45. To be, this is 90. This is not root 3, root 2. Hai ye. So, yaha root 2 likh liye. Easily yaad ho jayega. Vaikuntam, you understood how to remember it, how to memorize it? Yes, sir. Prakrut? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Priyanshi, do you remember Priyanshi? Ko. Summer, do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. You are in which standard, Summer? Sir, ninth standard. Okay, Ojas, understood? Sir, can you repeat the cost? Sorry? Can you repeat the part? Which one? The last one. Awaaz, Can you please type what do you want me to do? Drishti understood or not? Hmm? And Parnavi ko shayad samaj aya hoga, nahi aya hoga. I can't help Parnavi, but I'll send you the recording. Don't worry. So Summer is asking me. Ojas, kaha chala gaya Ojas amal? Chalo, aayega. So, this is the, all of you noted it? Quickly or something? Noted, done? Sir, just a minute. Okay, okay. Please note it quickly. All of you. Bita, meri awaaz to sabko ja rahi hai. Achha, all of you, please make note my number and this is my number 957-437-5555. This is my WhatsApp number. Please send your uh, homework to this number. 
ठीक है सेकेंड सेकेंड इफ यूल गिव मी क्लिक सॉरी इफ यूल गिव मी पिंक तो आई सेंड यू द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ दिस सेशन ऑल्सो ठीक है सो लेट्स मूव अहेड डन हो गया बेटा सबका लिख के खत्म प्रकृत हो गया बेटा लिख के डन ये सर ग्रेट ठीक है सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइज इज वी हैव स्टैंडर्ड एंगल्स फ्रॉम अदर क्वार्टेंट्स ऑल्सो इज इंट इट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ सबसे था ना हमारे पास सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ सबसे था ना standard angles so we had nine standard angles from other quadrants as well so how to find this is what they learn in 11th standard theek hai so the question is how to find the trigonometric values of the standard angles of the second third and fourth quadrants so the first step i am giving you steps to do it there there are tricks also but i'll not first you learn the steps then we will go for tricks right write the angles as either a sum or the difference of the standard angles of the first quadrant and the reference angle of the respective quadrant so what does it mean if i want if i i want to find what is sin of 120 degree agar mujhe ye nikalna hai so what should i do i have to write sin 120 as either 90 plus 30 or i should write sin as 120 as 180 minus 60 this is the meaning of this first step i hope all of you understood this yes or no yes sir hai na sabko clear hai beta ye chale aage yahan se na theek hai so now if you are if you are okay with it so let's write the next step now what you need to do is second check if the so if the reference angle is an even multiple of 90 degrees then the function sin remains sin and cos remains cos abhi samjhaunga main ha isko i'll explain this to you don't worry just write it if you want to write it if the reference angle is an odd multiple of 90 degrees then the function sin gets converted to cos and cos gets converted to sin please note it once you are done type done and then i'll explain each and every rule to you ठीक है लिखिए आप लोग इसको
Noted all of you? Great. Okay. So if you have noted it, so let's move ahead. Okay. Now, first of all, let's try to define what are the even and odd multiples of 90 degrees. Okay. So let's see the, if I write 90 into 1, this is 90. The reference angles are 90 into 2, 180. They are multiples of 90, right? This is 270. And the last one is 90 into 4. This is 360. So these two are odd multiples. Yes or no? And these two are yes, even multiples. Any doubts in this? These are even numbers. So even multiple. And these are odd numbers. So odd multiples. I hope this is clear to all of you. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Great. Yes, sir. So now, now, let's focus on this example. We want to find what is sine 120, right? So we can write either 90 plus 30 or 180 minus 60. Kar sakte ekdam aram se kaam isme. Isme kya hoga? Isme kya hoga? Dekho dhyan se. This is what? This is an odd multiple of 90, right? So we will use this rule number 3. What does it say? Sine gets converted to cos. So this function sine will get converted to cos. Now cos of what? Cos of what? So check this angle. Cos of the standard angle, 30 degrees. Clear a bit asabko hana bolenge bhai sab log. It, get, it got converted to cause of the standard angle. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now, I'll take one more example. Parallel Let's do cause 150. Cause 150 can be written as cause 90 plus 60. So here again, this is odd reference angle. Cause gets converted to sine of 60 degrees. Clear bit of ko hana bolna hai of ko. Yes, sir. Understood all of you. By Kuntam, Drishti, Sriyanshi, Ojas, Prakrut. Yes. Oh, great. Now, we have to find these values. From where will we find this? From the trigonometric table. Cos 30 is how much? Root 3 by 2. Okay. So, this is, the value is root 3 by 2. What about sin 60? Sin 60 is? Again, root 3 by 2. So, this is root 3 by 2. Now, now, we have to use this part. Positive, 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 negative, positive. Check karna hai. Theek hai? This, this lies in which quadrant? Second quadrant. So, sin of 120 is positive or negative? In the second quadrant, sin is positive. So, it is greater than 0. So, you have to put a positive sign here. It's already positive, right? We need not have to be bothered by that. But cause is negative in the second quadrant. Yes or no? Cause is negative in the second quadrant. Yes or no? Prakrut, Samar, Sriyanshi, Drishti, Parnavi, yes, Ojas, Vaikuntha. Yes, yes, sir. So, so, we will put a negative sign in front of this. This is what you have to be very, very careful while addressing it, right? Now, I'll, I'll just show you the even wala part. This is sine 180. So, 180 minus 60. This is even multiple. So, sine becomes sine only. Sine becomes sine. Sine remains sine. It is positive. This sine 120 is positive. So, positive only. Sine 60 is root 3 by 2. Only. What about this one? It's sine 180 minus 30 degrees. So, this becomes, sorry, it's not sine, it's cos. Cos 180 minus 30. So this becomes cos 30 degrees. Since cos is negative in the second quadrant, so negative. This is cos 30 is minus root 3 by. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So minus root 3 by 2. I hope all of you are very clear about the rules. Yes or no? Great. Prakrut, Samar, Sriyanshi, Samaj Aara Bita, Drishti Koto Agya Samaj Me, Vaikuntam, Ojas. Prakrut understood? Yes, sir. Great. 
Please make a note of it quickly. Note this. And those of you who have noted it, please find, please find cos 330 degrees. Using both even and odd reference angles. Okay? I'll be back in two minutes. Aap log karo, I'll be back in two minutes. All of you done. Cost 330 found. Please share your answers. Yes. This is 360 minus 30. Very good. Very good. Shabash Bita. Very good this thing. Rest of you, please do it. Prakrut, very good. It's root 3 by 2. Good. Shabash. Rest of you, Vaikuntam doing it? Samar, Vaikuntam, Shriyanshi, yes, sir. Shabash, Shabash. Very good, Shriyanshi. Very good. So, now your homework, ab aagya sabko karna ye to. So, homework kya hai aap logo ka? Homework hai for all the nine angles, find all the trigonometric values. Sine, cos, tan. Okay? Find sine, cos and tan of for all the nine standard angles of second, third and fourth quadrant. Clear a homework or you want me to write it? No, I mean, sir. Please sit down. I'll just write it for all of you. Find the trigonometric values of all the standard angles of the second, third, and fourth quadrant. How many angles are there? Nine angles are there. So you have to find sine, cos, and tan of all those nine angles. Sine cos nikali to tan to mili jayega. Hena? This is your homework. Theek hai? You want me to do this cos 330 or you have done it? All of you. Sir, can you wait one second? I need to copy the last two things in this slide. Just a in this slide? In this yeah. slide? Ha, ha, yeah. Please, please. Copy it, copy it. Vaikuntam, how did you do this? Abhi jo kiya tha tumne? Thumb? Thumbs up dikhaya tha na tumne? How did you do that? 
Is it sir, a new feature? Sir, one option is there, sir. Is it a new feature? Which I have to update my Zoom. It's not there anymore. Yes, sir. Now only. Do it again. Do it again. Now only I have it, sir. Do it again. चल ठीक है सो प्लीज डू योर होमवर्क कंप्लीटेड ओ जस्ट सेंड मी योर पिंग मी इन माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर आई सेंड यू द रिकॉर्डिंग ठीक है आई अपलोड इट इन द यूट्यूब एंड सेंड इट टू यू जस्ट अ सेकेंड है सो हाउ वॉज द सेशन यू दृष्टि से शुरू करते हैं दृष्टि हाउ वॉज द सेशन यू अंडरस्टूड Yeah, it was nice. You are not feeling sleepy. Um, no. <laughs> good, good. ठीक है. Prakrut, what about you? Sir, nice. Nice. It was good. Understood. Whatever nice. I thought. So please complete the homework. Send it to me by tomorrow evening. Ah, huh? it will take you hardly fifteen thirty. Sir, finish. Sir, give me two minutes. I'm done. Sorry. Sir, give me two minutes. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, great. Great. Why couldn't I? You understood today's session or not? Good. Oh, just तुम तो तुमको थोड़ा challenge आएगा बेटा पर मैं I'll send you the recording. Don't worry. ठीक है. Summer, you were there from yes, the beginning. Yes, sir. समझ आया बेटा आज का session नहीं है. Sir आया मैंने तो दस minute बाद join किया था पर ठीक था. ठीक था. Good, good, good. Shreyanshi. Yes, sir. समझ आया बेटा आज का सेशन चलो बहुत बढ़िया प्लीज डू द होमवर्क हाँ थैंक यू सो मच ओजस परनवी परनवी आई सेंड यू दिस आई सेंड यू द रिकॉर्डिंग प्लीज सेंड पिंग मी इन द व्हाट्सएप आई अगेन सेंडिंग माय व्हाट्सएप नंबर टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज सेव इट एंड कनेक्ट विथ मी ठीक है चलो थैंक यू सो मच किड्स थैंक यू सो मच इट वॉज वेरी नाइस टीचिंग ऑल ऑफ यू ठीक है इट वॉज गुड i was happy actually teaching all of you you your grasping is good and what we will do is now once you send me this then i'll uh, send you what uh, i have to send okay i'll send you my uh, booklet of i'll send you the pdf of the foundation booklet if you connect with me in the whatsapp uh, if you send my your whatsapp number i'll send it to you for practice you can use that and my best wishes to all of you for all your future endeavors theek hai thank all you, the sir. best do well see thank you so much thank you, thank you sir so thank you sir bye take care thank Good. you sir thank you bye sir bye